Problem 1.9. A scuba diving tank initially holds 0.25 feet cubed of air at 3,000 psi. If the diver uses the air at a rate of 0.05 kilograms per minute, approximately how long will the tank last? Assume that the temperature of the gas remains constant at 20 degrees C. So we've got some scuba tank and we're given some initial parameters. We know that the volume of this tank is equal to 0.25 feet cubed. We know that the pressure of the air inside that tank is 3,000 psi. We're told that the scuba diver uses the air at a mass flow rate, m dot, of 0.05 kilograms per minute. We want to figure out the time it would take to empty this tank, assuming that the temperature of the gas remains constant at 20 degrees C. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that I have some mixed units here. I have the volume in feet cubed. I have the mass flow rate, though, in kilograms per minute. So we have both the international system and the British gravitational system. And so I'm going to have to convert some of these over so I have a consistent unit. And I, I like to work in the international system. So I'm going to go ahead and convert the volume. And I can do that by saying, oh, there are 0.304 meters per foot. And I'll just have to cube that. And that will leave me with 0.0071 meters cubed. The pressure, multiply that by there are 6,894.76 pascals per psi. And that will leave me with 2.068 times 10 to the seventh pascals. And we're going to assume that these are on the absolute scale. And so now the mass flow rate, I'm going to have to, it's in the international system, but I always want to convert to the basic units of each system. And the time scale, we should always express in seconds and not minutes. So I'm going to convert that. So I'll say in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So I take the 0 0.05, divide by 60, and it gives me 8.33 times 10 to the minus fourth, and that will now be kilograms per second. To get an approximation, what we're going to have to do is, again, we're assuming that the mass flow rate is being held constant at the 0 0.05, the temperature is held constant at 20 degrees C, and so to start off this problem, if I know that I'm losing mass at a particular rate of 0 0.05 kilograms per minute, or 8.33 times 10 to the minus fourth kilograms per second, to figure out how long it will take, I will need to determine the initial amount of mass that I have. And to get the initial amount of gas, I can use the ideal gas law. And the ideal gas law says that the pressure has to equal the density times the gas constant times the temperature. And the key thing to remember is anytime we use the ideal gas law equation, the pressure and the temperature must be in the absolute scales. So that means we'll have to have the temperature not in degrees C. So temperature we're told was 20 degrees C, but we'll need to convert that to the absolute scale, which in the international system is Kelvin. And we convert that by adding 273, which gives me 293 Kelvin. So now using this equation, if my pressure is 2.0, 6, 8 times 10 to the seventh pascals absolute, and that has to equal the density of the gas times the gas constant, and for air, that happens to be 287 meters squared per second squared Kelvin. And then I have to multiply that by my temperature, which is 293 Kelvin. And you'll see that this will then tell me what the density of the gas is inside the tank and that winds up being equal to 245.92 kilograms per meter cubed. And the density, of course, that's just the mass per 
unit volume. So initially, the initial mass is going to then just be the mass in the tank is the density times the volume, which is equal to the 245.92 times that initial volume. We calculate as 0 0.0071. And that, of course, will give me a mass in kilograms. And it winds up being 1.741 kilograms. All right, so now that I know the initial mass and I know that the rate m dot is then just the mass divided by time. And so the mass flow rate was 8.33 times 10 to the minus fourth. And that then has to equal the initial amount of mass, which was 1.741 kilograms divided by the time. And so I can now rearrange this equation and find how much time it would take to lose that entirety of mass. And that is going to then become 2.09 times 10 to the third seconds. And so what I can do is I can just say that in 60 seconds there is one minute. And I can also express this as the time it would take to deplete the tank as being 34.83 minutes.